Super Bowl together. Speculation of tension between the two has been in the news for years, but that is the complete opposite of a report that the two exchange, quote, love yas after Sunday's <laughs> AFC Championship game. Different to say love ya, not love you, guys. Keep that in mind. That is true. Yesterday, Brady was asked about their relationship and praised his coach. Let's take a listen. We've always gotten along great. We've worked together for 19 years. So, you know, we've been in the same, had the same goals in mind for 19 years. And he's been just a great, great mentor in my life, a great coach. He's taught me, you know, more than, you know, anyone ever could about the game of football. You know, I've always just loved playing here and playing for him. He's the greatest coach of all time. And we just had some incredible moments together. Shannon, do you believe Brady? No. It's easy to say, Skip, in a moment like that, you had just won the AFC Championship game, yep. um, probably one of your signature wins mm -hmm. throughout all the playoff games that you've had. I think you've been up at, what, 39 now, Skip? Um, this was probably one of the more signature wins. Mm. Things are really good. People normally act accordingly. But... We know through that Seth Wickersham article that yep. was published about a year and a half ago, Skip, on ESPN, yep. that things were not very good. Yep. Now, Skip, I don't know about you, Skip, but anytime I buy something, I always get a receipt, especially if it's something that I might return, mm -hmm. because I want them to know that, hey, I did purchase it from you on this date, and I don't no longer want this item. I want to return it and get my money back. And when people say certain things, Skip, I always keep the receipts. There was, Jim, there was a Jim Gray uh, interview that Tom Brady did. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady said, Bill is not the easiest guy to play for. Uh -huh. Like, mm -hmm. now, we know he's not talking about Mr. Kraft because he has a very special relationship with Mr. Bob Kraft. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kraft treats him as if he's his son. It's hard for me to believe that he loves Jonathan Kraft who is probably the more prominent of all the sons that we see sit right next to him in, mm -hmm. in the boots, he does. in the box, Skip, all the time. Yep. If he holds him in any high regard, then he holds I, Tom I'm Brady. I'm with you on that. Tom Brady's mom was going through what she was going through. Yep. Mr. Kraft gave her a ring that only the players and coaches gave. So we know Tom Brady knows Mr. Kraft appreciates him mm -hmm. and loves him. Sure. I'm not so sure he feels that way because... We know now it's been reported mm -hmm. that Tom does not understand why he does not have a better relationship mm -hmm. yeah. with Coach Belichick. Mm -hmm. So now in this moment of bliss. Mm -hmm. It going, was bliss, man. They go into another Super Bowl the ninth time. It's, and it's they, euphoria. Yes, yeah. yes. You felt this feeling before. There's, there's nothing quite like that feeling, especially to win on the road. On like the that. road. Yep. So I wasn't expecting him to say in that moment, you know, skip my crowning of one of my crowning achievements. Mm -hmm. Man, you make me sick. Get away from me. I ain't, no, you suppress whatever it is. Now, maybe it was not, I think it might have gotten to that level with the Jimmy Garoppolo situation. Yeah. But prior to that, Skip, I don't, maybe it wasn't as mm -hmm. bad. Maybe they, it wasn't like, I'm not speaking to you this morning. You don't speak to me. But the, the, the relationship that Coach Belichick and Tom has is not unique. There have been a lot of great quarterback head coach combinations that's won a lot didn't have the closest relationship, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Coaches understand that no matter how close you get to a player or how great a player is, there will come a time, Skip. That's why in the military, they don't have, you know, we a subordinate fooling around with a higher-up because they're going to be tough decisions that mm -hmm. need to be made. Yep. Coach Belichick and other great coaches also understand they're going to come a time. I'm going to have to make a very, very tough decision. And the closer I am with you, the harder that decision will be. Mm -hmm. So let's keep everything in perspective. I'm the coach, you're the player, and we're going to work mm -hmm. accordingly. Now, mm -hmm. does, does does Tom Brady get privileges that probably other the guys don't get? Probably so. Mm -hmm. They're subtle. The great thing about Tom, he doesn't take advantage of that. And I think that's where the great leadership in his behalf mm -hmm. comes in at, Skip, is that you know you have certain a, a certain cachet, certain privileges, but you don't embark upon those mm -hmm. things. But for Tom to say they've always had a great relationship, I think Tom is being very disingenuous. Mm. I thought this was a very good moment. They're winning on the field after the game. Everybody's mm. happy, euphoric. And he said, man, I love you. I love you too. Whatever. Mm -hmm. 
I'm with you on whatever. I'm with Jenny and what she prefaced all this with because there are different ways to say I love you. And I always tell Ernestine, like she was mad at me Sunday night, and I got when I went to bed, I got a love you. And if you just get a love you, that it's it's like Whoa, what is that? Uh Love you. What is that? Well, she got mad at me. I was watching the the Brady game and she knocked on my door. I'm in my Whoa, whoa! She takes president over Brady. Guess what, guess what happened when she knocked on the door? I guess know what, what happened? happened. I know exactly what. at that moment. I am not exaggerating. You but but guess what happened at that that seminal Uh-oh. moment? He I'm threw it to Reggie you Ragland. You are not putting that on. He threw it to Reggie Ragland. It was. And I said, "How could you do this to me?" Oh. And she had like a silly question about nothing. She knocked on my door and she said, "Do you?" I said, "Wait, wait, wait." That wait, is wait. Not and then I look up at the TV and he throws it right to Reggie Ragland. I fell on the floor. That was the end of that. <laughs> yeah. okay. You not, better make up she, for she, it. She's not speaking to me right now, but it's okay. But I got to love Oh, it's okay. You. Okay, oh, but it's there's okay. a huge difference between love you, man, and I love you. Because right. I yes. love you is I love you, right. right? So this was uttered on both behalfs through gritted teeth to me. Mm-hmm. Because they have been at each other's throats quietly all the way along. But when it's time to work, when Tom says we've always gotten along, he's talking about in the football context. Right. Because work relationship. I, hey, just working relationship, has there ever been a better soldier quarterback than Tom Brady? Seriously, there's never been a, 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 a less of a diva at quarterback in the football context than this guy. Right. Has there ever been a better quarterback teammate than Tom Brady? Mm-hmm. We hear it from James Harrison, our guy. There's n- n- Nobody has more edge to him than James Harrison. Nobody wants to fight for the truth more than James Harrison. He will tell you exactly what he thinks. Right to your face. Yep. And if you don't like it, you, he'll just throw down right there, right? <laughs> yep. And so what did he tell us about going in that locker room late last year? So he, he watched went, it. He wanted to see if yeah, it was real. Yeah, and he was skeptical yep. about it. And he watched him for whatever it was, a week or two. And he finally just went up to him and he said, man, I got to give it up to you. Yep. You are 100% r- real, yep. right? Yep. Okay, so that's who this guy is. And when he was taught by his father, senior, Tom Senior, you know what? You, you listen to your co- you obey what your right, coach tells right. you. And when you're in the coach quarterback confines in the locker room mm-hmm. or in the meeting room, mm-hmm. you do what you're told to do. And he does that. I don't think he's. Do you think they've ever clashed in a football context? Do you think he's ever called him out or, or challenged him? I, I don't think so. No. Okay. So have they always quote unquote gotten along? Yes. But what did Seth Wickersham report? I thought it was amusing. Bill Belichick yesterday on his radio show, he was responding to all this. And, called it, uh, I'm not going to respond to a bunch of gossip. Mm. And, and he said, I never talked to the guy, meaning Seth Wickersham. Well, Seth Wickersham, I'm, I'm going to defend ESPN here. He, he talked to a whole lot of people for this article, a lot of friends of Belichick, according to Seth Wickersham. And I thought it had the ring of truth throughout right. it. And remember, the bottom line was he reported that Robert Kraft ordered Bill Belichick to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. That's the flashpoint of the whole article, right? Right. right. That was at the trade deadline going back a year ago, right? Yeah. And he did. And then there were further reports that Bill stayed in contact with Jimmy Garoppolo via text to text him, congratulations, mm-hmm. good job, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. which I'm sure didn't sit all that well with Tom Brady. Considering and, that I've been your quarterback for all these years, yeah. you've never probably sent me a text. Probably haven't. And I've told you before, I know two close friends of Tom Brady's, and they have told me all along, this has gone on for 10 years that they've told me, Tom has always been amused but perplexed by the fact that Bill has never wanted to socialize with him for one second of one off season. They, they were paired together in the Pebble Beach uh, Pro-Am, Pro-Am, you know, so they played golf together not by choice but by pairing. Right. But in New England, in, in, the, in the neighborhood, you know, they've yeah. never played golf because Bill has never 